Uh, hi, this is Tom Jackson with Equipment World Magazine. We are here today with Bruce McCown at uh, Atlantic Machinery. Bruce has a unique job in the construction world. His, he is a Komatsu TSE, which stands for uh, Technical Solutions Expert. Basically what Bruce is doing is uh, interceding for the customer's uh, uh, behalf and helping to train and equip the customer with the knowledge he needs to use GPS and GNS type technology on dozers and excavators. So we thought this was a real interesting job and they'll probably pick some interesting people to work on. So Bruce, my first question is, what was your background for this job? What did you know that uh, allowed you to step into this role? Well, Tom, I'd say specifically to uh, the machine control world, uh, I did come from a construction background uh, immediately before uh, my work with Atlantic Machinery. Uh, didn't go to school for necessarily a tech technology solutions uh, role, but working for the construction uh, industry helped equip me with some of the tools I needed whenever I began. Um, I went through an initial three-week uh, extensive course on machine control um, and GNSS uh, specific machine control. Mm -hmm. That initial course was dedicated just for TSEs. Um, and uh, that course is still ongoing to this day. Outside of that, uh, we continued to uh, attend more training courses down here at the training facility. Um, that would include an advanced TSE course, uh, courses specific to the dozers, courses specific to the excavators. Um, countless weeks actually uh, training on the, the exact line and, and the technology behind the product. Okay, and um, so you're the interface between the contractor and the technology and the machines. What's your typical day like? What, what from start to finish, what happens? Um, I'd say a typical day. Um, we do a lot of calls with our uh, sales team. Uh, we are the experts on the product. So whenever a customer has some interest, uh, we'll go out on that sales call with a salesman and um, speak um, with all the information that they need in order to gather everything they need to decide if this is the right move for them. So going out on a sales call, probably in the meantime, maybe get a phone call from a customer, um, got a new operator on the machine and he never received any formal training yet. Uh, we weren't aware that they were gonna be having a new operator. So um, maybe do some training over the phone, swing in to stop and see a customer and do some added uh, training for their new operator. Um, or maybe tie in uh, to their machine monitor from a remote location and um, do some training online that way. Okay, and uh, we experienced this today with the excavator. Uh, I'd never used machine control on an excavator before. It took me about uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes of familiarization. Uh, is that pretty typical for uh, when you're delivering a new machine, you're sitting around with your operators, is that about the, the amount of time you need to, to give them to get them up to speed on the technology? Right, we like to dedicate as much time as possible to make sure that the operators feel completely comfortable. Um, with that said, it's very dependent on the operator's experience. Uh, we'll be on some job sites where an operator has ran uh, some type of machine control in an excavator, just not our system. Okay. Or maybe they've experienced machine control in a 2D setting, not mm -hmm. necessarily a 3D setting. Uh, maybe the operator himself is a highly experienced operator, just has never used any machine control. So as you can see, the time we spend with that individual is dependent on what his knowledge was going into it. Um, we like to say that uh, just because an individual is a, you know, not a great operator, that doesn't mean this product isn't is too much for them. And likewise, a phenomenal operator will spend an equal amount of time with them. Uh, they have the hard part down, right? They know how to run the equipment excellent. Uh, this is a tool that just makes them that much better. Okay. And what are the, the FAQs, frequently asked questions that you get from contractors, and especially the people who are going to buy the machine and, and spend a lot of money on this technology for the first time? Right. Well, machine control has been around long enough that uh, it seems like the majority of people in the industry have either heard something about it or uh, have experienced it maybe in an outdated form uh, or have experienced it recently but from one of our competitors. Okay. So a lot of the questions I will get uh, from people interested or even uh, current users uh, that are used to maybe another system, how does this differ? What's What does this product have that this one didn't? Um, how do I do what I wanted to do in this system but using your user interface? So uh, explaining the differences and uh, you know, being able to engage the customer in exactly what our product offers that the old system that they had didn't offer. Okay, and who do you call when you get stumped? Yeah, great question. Um, the, uh, I'd say it's um, two answers. Uh, first and foremost, I would say the um, Intelligent Machine Control Division at Komatsu. Okay. Um, we have a 
list of phone numbers that we can contact uh, in regards to uh, smart construction and troubleshooting issues, uh, a direct line to a real person uh, while I'm out on the job site maybe having a question or having an issue. Uh, secondly, the enormous network of other TSCs, technology solutions experts across the country that have went through the same training I have but maybe retained a little bit of information that I didn't. Um, I can call a gentleman in Florida, um, very close to another one uh, in Wisconsin. Um, we all bounce things off of each other and help each other out. We're all there for the same cause. Okay, so Komatsu now has TSEs and all of its distributors. That's correct. That looks great. Yeah. Good deal.